Metabolism is a fundamental concept in biology. This includes reactions like respiration and breaking down proteins. So today we're going to cover these examples and more. You can use my Bioenergetics workbook alongside this video to get the most out of your revision time. It's got tons of tasks and pictures and exam questions to check what you've learned. The link is in the description below or head over to emmatichi.com. I've briefly mentioned metabolism in my enzymes video. If you've seen it, pause the video and see if you can think of the definition for metabolism. Metabolism is the sum of all the reactions in a cell or organism. You can remember this with this little graphic here. These are reactions in which molecules are made or broken down. There are quite a few examples for this across the specification, and in this video we're linking them together. There are six to learn. The first is the digestion and synthesis of carbohydrates, lipids, and proteins. Can you remember what each one breaks down into? Pause the video and see. Okay, carbohydrates break down into sugars, lipids break down into glycerol and fatty acids, and proteins break down into amino acids. An extra bit of detail to learn is that lipids are synthesized from one glycerol molecule and three fatty acid molecules. Synthesis is the opposite of digestion or breaking down. So it's just going in the reverse and the small molecules build up the bigger molecules. Our next process is that glucose can be converted into starch or cellulose in plant cells. In animal cells, it can be converted into glycogen. This is an energy store for later use. Glucose and nitrate ions are used to form amino acids. These are then used to synthesize proteins, as we saw previously. Proteins are just chains of amino acids. Excess proteins in the body are broken down to form urea for excretion. This is turned into urine in the kidneys and it then leaves the body as urine or pee. Next up is respiration. This is a metabolic process in which the breakdown of glucose transfers energy to the cell. And finally, we've got photosynthesis. This is also a metabolic process and it occurs in plants and algae to produce food using light. There are hundreds of thousands of metabolic processes, but these are the examples you need to learn for the exams. If you finished your revision notes or are using my study along workbooks, then I suggest going through them and finding these examples. Then mark the pages with a little M for metabolism to remind you when you next revise it. Let's test what you've learned. Pause the video and try these quick questions. And when you're ready, press play to go through the answers. One. Glucose is involved in many metabolic processes. State two examples of these. So there are three. Firstly, it can be converted into starch, cellulose or glycogen. It can also be used to produce amino acids along with nitrate ions. And finally, it can be broken down in respiration to transfer energy for the cell. Two, fill in the gaps for this metabolic process, choosing the correct words from below. So here are our words, and we're looking for three that sort of go together. And those three are lipids, glycerol, and fatty acids. And now we just need to decide which one gets broken down. And that would be lipids. So lipids breaks down into glycerol and fatty acids. And that can be in either order. And you'll notice I've just added on how many molecules of each. Three, which fundamental metabolic process occurs in all living organisms on Earth. The all is key here. It can't be photosynthesis because that doesn't happen in all living things. Instead, it must be respiration. There are other answers, but that's the example we need to know. So, how did you do? Well done on finishing the bioenergetics topic. Check out my other video playlists for all the other topics in biology. And if you've enjoyed this, don't forget to subscribe for more GCSE Science Hub. Thank you for watching. Bye.